welcome back everybody in the next 10 minutes or so i'll walk you to a fully managed 40 manager 7.4.6 lab on evng free which is the evng community edition uh, so no mystery files no guesswork i'm going to make sure that you understand where to get your legit kvm image what files need you need how do you fix your permissions how do you get your 40 manager gui opening up successfully so you know exactly where to grab the image how to prep it that one liner that prevents boot failures and the first boot tricks to launch your trial or if you have a license you can go through that so you can start pushing your policies to any 40 gate in minutes now why this is important is now whether if you're studying for your uh, fortnet certification or just want hands-on practice on fortnet especially 40 manager products a working lab beats any pdf ready so fire up evng and let's build your 40 manager sandbox right here Fortnite provides VM images for 40 Manager on their support uh, portal or the customer service portal. So here's how to obtain it legally. You log in under downloads, go to the VM images, under product, select 40 Manager, under platform, select KVM. So once you're into the correct version, you'll see the first option is to upgrade, but you got to select the second option, which is a new installation. And the download simply starts at this point. So all you really need is a Fortnite support account to download the image. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. Once the file downloads, I'll move it into the folders where I have all my other EVNG images. Once you have renamed your 40 manager here, you gotta make sure that the 40 net name stairs dash and then later can be your built version, which is what I have done. I have a 74.6 and then built is 2588. So I've that, done that. If you notice the name is different, because another thing you have to keep in mind is when you actually go into your naming convention, the inside also has to be these two. So if I have a manager, I it's looking for two of these. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. First of all, let's just copy. It's nothing different here. It's our client, which we use to move. This is my folder. Let's go ahead and refresh this. This is the file that I have. This one right here. I'll just take it simply and drag it here. I've done that. I will go into that file, which is right here. I can rename that. Okay, so that's done. If you go back and you look at this here, uh, you'll see that there is also another file. This one we have created. Now, we, what about this one? This is pretty much like another second drive. So we can use a CLI command to get that done. So what I will do it now is I'll use PuTTY to log into my actual server there. Okay. Now, once I've done that, what I need to do is I have to type in some commands, CD, and I'm going to try and just go into that file, okay? Let me see if I can actually, I have it written down here, that file, so see if I can actually. There we go. I was able to get in. Fortinet. Let me see if it lets me, so F. Not FGFM, FGM, it says, okay, FGM, and it's able to complete that. So I am in there. You'll see that that's already there, right? In order to create the second one, the second hard drive that we want, let's do this. So I'm inside and I have to give that command. Make sure that it created that. Refresh. Yes, it is. This is the second one now. That's the first one. So you have it now. Perfect. Once we have the two, now the next thing, as you remember, is anytime we add a QMU image, we need to do the fixed permission there. Let's run that. I'm going to actually do that fixed permission now and make sure I'm outside here into the root. So I just logged out and logged back in sometimes you might have to reboot the system uh, but let's try it without it so let's open it up so far what we have done is we have got the 40 manager actually image legally which you can go to the support as i've already shown you once you've got the right version that you're looking for make sure that you got the kvm image the next thing is to actually put that particular image using win scp into your evng carefully there are two drives in there so 
I've showed you that you have to kind of rename one of them and then for other one you just create it the file uh, the commands have been given to you and I'll make sure I put that in in description now once you've done that now the next thing you want to do is make sure that you're able to log in what I'll do is I'll just go to my EVNG setup here and I'm just logged in it didn't ask me for the username password because I had just logged out so that's probably why once I'm in it I can go right click node look for 40 net right and then look for actually this is the image that we have just uploaded right um, you can pick up a different icon that you like they have a whole bunch of options I prefer the 40 server option here because that's more closest RAM you want to make sure that it has about 16 gigs is what I've noticed is if you have anything less than that it usually will not work properly and once you've done that you hit save and it's up and running uh, one thing to remember is when you're making your connections you have to make sure that these connections are done when the device is off so one thing I like to do is I will also like to pick up a network here usually which is going to be the management so which is I'm using community would rather prefer that one uh, again different options uh, for the management as well let's pick up a little globe thing or you know what because this I'm trying to log in as management so instead I'll just pick up a PC here like a generic PC I know that this is just my management right so later I can just change that into management you connect that uh, to port 2 sure oh sorry port 1 there and one more thing I also like to do just to make sure that if this is up and running for me is I like to also add like a Linux uh, distribution I'll check the tiny core that's fine and I'll tell you in a minute why I do that uh, you connect that and at this point I want to start the Linux first and you'll see in a minute what why why do I want to do that is I want to make sure that my actual system is actually able to get just showed up quickly here one thing I've noticed is since I've moved on to actually the bare metal installation, it's it's actually been pretty fast. I'll do IF config. And if I notice that I am getting 192.168.100.103 slash 24, so I know I'm on the right subnet uh, because I wanted to make sure that IP that I gave it to my system or the 40 manager would be this. Sure, let's increase the font to say 20. Let's do bold. Fortnite likes red, so we'll do that color there. So that's my gonna be my IP to manage my 40 manager. Now let's start it, and I'll double click on it. I'm using secure CRT. Uh, you don't have to. And once it shows up there, we'll let it run. It's logging on right now. Just going through this usual stuff. It will come up pretty fast, in my opinion. And once it's done. It will ask you to log in and first time login would be admin and blank and then you set any password that you would like and I am just waiting for that now and there we go now at this point I'll do admin password I'll put blank say set up a password I set one up right now and that's about it I'm in the 40 manager right now you can run a few different commands let's say if you want to just change the name for example so I'll do that just quickly config system global and we'll say set host name 40 manager oh well, that was quick it just logged me out very quickly not sure why that happened let's try logging on again okay I'm in set host name Oops, I need to actually, before I do that, I actually go config. I keep doing config T, right? That's just my default, working so many years doing Cisco. And then you do set host name. I'll just call it demo, right? And that's it. And once that's done, we'll hit end. And you'll see the name has been changed to FMG demo. And once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to look at the port numbers that it's connected to. You can actually do a show if you like. Show system interfaces that just shows you you notice that this is set up to dhcp means it's going to ask for a dhcp now i want a certain ip address there 
uh, 192.168.100.50. So we'll have to change that. So in order to do that, what you'll have to do is you got to do config naughty system interface edit. And I'll just say I want to edit port one. Okay. And once I go there, I got to do set mode to static instead of DHCP. And then I can do set IP 192.168.100.50. I can just do slash 24, or I could have even done the the usual subnets, which is 255.255.255.0. I think that's about it at this point. And let's go and let's do config. You know what, system route, let, let's hold that up. I was trying to actually give it a default gateway for now. So let's leave that out for now. Now let's see if I can things. Let's end this first. And we do execute. Cute ping 100.1. I can ping my gateway. So, okay, I know it's going to work then. Perfect. So, once that is taken care, then we I think we should be able to uh, log in. Uh, but before we do that, I want to just do that show thing again. Show system interface. Looks like I'm okay. And it's allowing me to do HTTPS and SSH. Now let's go back to the device here and see if I can log into the 40 manager this time. 100.50. Okay, it doesn't like it. Why would that be the case? HTTPS. And there we go. Now, couple of options here. Uh, once you see this, you have to use the support email address and password, the one you had to download it. I can use a free license or I can activate a license if you have a registration code and everything here. Or you can even upload a license if you have one. So I actually happen to have one. Let me see how that's going to look here. You see, I'm uploading it. And again, you can use an actual license or you can get a free license. And I think the evaluation free license gives you about 15 days. Uh, if you're just testing out or learning for your certification, I think 15 days is good enough. And then if that expires, then you try getting another one. I don't know if they're going to let you use the same email address. You might need to have another email address with another account because there's no restriction on how many email addresses you register with the Fortinet support. It's another option. The whole idea is when you're trying to do especially uh, learning on a certain platform, the best option is to do hands-on. And once it's up and running, so in this topology going forward, what we'll do is what I'll show you is how can I start adding more 40 gates and then try to manage them here. Now, this is a 40 manager. We could also add a 40 analyzer the similar way. I will try doing that next uh, in the next video and we'll wait and I'll show you once I'm logged in through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and refresh it once. Uh, go advance. And I think I should be able to log in at this point. Right. So now this is the password that I set up when I was setting up this. And that's it, right? Uh, now you can make certain changes if you like. Uh, if not, then you can just hit begin. Email account, you got to set up all that in order to make sure that everything else is set up. Okay, so I ran into a bit of an issue, so I thought I should uh, share this in the video. When I was trying to make sure that I can hit begin and everything works through, it kept giving me an error message saying, I cannot reach 40 care. That kind of told me that there is something wrong. So I need to make sure that I'm able to ping 8.8.8. .8 in order to do that, I have to do a couple of things here. What you need to do is, you need to make sure that you're able to config system route. And you have to do edit one where you're making the changes. Once you do that, you got to do set device port one because that's the port that's taking me out and then set gateway, which is my gateway and then end. It's because basically what I'm trying to do is this here. Let's see if I can share that. This is a port one that I'm trying to use to the, go to the internet, right? Those are the commands. Once more, once you're in, 
config system route edit one set device port one there is no gap port and one are together set gateway to eat this and and that's it and then just to make sure that it's working exe ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. and once it's pinging that means you know you should be able to so now pretty much what i can do is i can just go begin again and i can put my email address and let's go from there perfect since i got through that gateway thing i think i'm up and running right now so i can see everything is up i haven't set up anything here so uh, we will do that in I guess in the next few videos. So this is 40 manager. I'm right now in. I will be able to manage devices, 40 gate, or the switches, or even the APs and the extenders. All that should be able to manage right from here. Uh, just to wrap up, I would like to give you this. Here is see what we did here is we made sure that we obtained the 40, 40 manager uh, image legally by going onto the support. Make sure once you get the image, you have to kind of extract the QCO and then it's uh, something that is the right format for the EVE. You create the right folder, make sure that the folder has two images and you, you see this one, which we just renamed, and then you run a command to create the second one. You make sure you do the fix permission uh, in the uh, EVNG. And once that's done, we open up the EVNG GUI uh, and add the 40 manager node. So what I showed you here was uh, I added like a little Linux box to it just to see that I was able to connect it through uh, the right network. So I always try to use that as a test bed rather than testing it on uh, the devices that I'm using on. Uh, if you look at this is what I mean here is connected this Linux box to the network to make sure I was getting an IP and then I gave one to this once this was given then going back is we finally you know booted up the 40 manager logged in as admin initially the default password is nothing you set it up once you set it everything up then you're pretty much up and running right um, you can get as i said a few options here uh trial license is 15 days and well license is up to 60 days upon request my thing is the only time when you are having 40 manager not booting up which is going to be for some cases especially if you're using EVNG on your laptop. I have seen that happen. Even if your laptop has 32 gigs of RAM, it will still run into that. So make sure that you're given at least 16 gigs in what my opinion is, uh, or the more you give is better. And yeah, that's about it. So after this, you should have, uh, so after this, you should have a working 40 manager in EVNG lab ready for use uh, to manage 40 gig devices or exploring it features. So great job uh, sticking around through the process. I know it's a little uh, cumbersome here. Uh, so thank you for following along i hope the step-by-step -step guide was helpful and that you found the instructions easy as well now you can proceed to create your policies add 40 gates to your 40 manager and build a foot 40 net lab so happy learning see you the next tutorial bye for now